Hi, and welcome to another video in the YBT video training series. In this session, we'll describe how to do lump sum planning on the Allocations tab of the Labor Plan. Specifically, we're going to plan for a lump sum of casual employees, but the process we'll follow will be similar for any lump sum planning we'll want to do. Assume you plan to spend $20,000 on casuals from January through June of next year. You'll use the Allocations tab of the Labor Planning Workbook to plan for these employees. We'll navigate to the Other Salary Categories section of the Allocations tab to complete the following tasks. Enter the Pateo information in the casual row. Enter $20,000 for the lump sum amount and enter the allocations in the appropriate months. Here we're on the Employees tab of the Labor Plan. We'll click the Go To button to begin. Choose the Allocations tab, and choose Other Salary Categories. We see the Other Salary Categories section, which is located near the bottom of the Allocation tab. You can use this section to plan for any of the categories listed below. We'll use the casual row, but as I said before, the process we'll describe will be s similar to the one that you'll want to follow for each of the types listed below. Notice the expense type code displays in a white shaded cell for all rows of the section except the last. Here it's yellow shaded, which indicates we can overwrite this value. If you don't use Student Research Assistance, you can overwrite the 725100 expense type with one you would use. If you don't know the expense type for the category you want, choose the Add New Other Salary Category link, shown here, to search for the category and add it to the plan. Next we'll enter the Patau information in the casual row. Enter the lump sum amount in the appropriate fiscal period. Column BC is where you'll enter the lump sum for the current plan year. Column BF is for next fiscal year. Column BD will display the total amount you assign to a particular month in the current year, and column BF contains the total amount assigned during the next year. Here we'll enter $20,000 in the casual row of column BD, the next year plan FTE column. Next, I'll scroll to the right to enter the monthly allocations in January through June of next year. I'll select column BZ to enter 100 in the January column. Note, at the time of this recording, FY12 was the current year and FY13 was next fiscal year. Here we'll type 100 and press enter. Next I'll drag this value over a total of six cells January through June. Let's scroll to the left to see the contents of the salary total. We'll confirm the total planned amount matches the value appearing in column BF, the next year planned salary total column. And it is. Note, here we spread the $20,000 evenly over the last six months of the year. To spread an amount evenly across any number of months, simply enter 100 in each month you plan to pay part of the lump sum. As long as 100 appears in each of these months, your total will be evenly spread across all of these months. In this video, we demonstrated the basic process for lump sum planning. Remember, to plan the lump sum payment of any appropriate labor expense code, follow the same process outlined in this video. Just choose the appropriate expense type code when inputting the Pateo. Thanks for your time today. If you have questions or comments, please send them to YBT support 
at yale.edu. Have a great day.